to another haul video, another Sephora haul, to say the least. Um, when this came yesterday while I was at work, apparently my sister saw the outer Sephora box that came in and was like, what the hell did Jennifer buy in a box that big that would cost a fortune? It's like, when I got home and I opened it, she was like supremely disappointed that I hadn't just like blown all my money on high-end makeup. I was like, no, I'm not as dumb as you think I am, silly. But anyway, we'll start with the free samples. So we have one of these one size go off juiciest makeup remover wipes samples, which of course that'll be useful. And then a little bitty sample that honestly I thought it was gonna be in a tube, not a little packet like this, but it's the fresh soy face cleaner or cleanser, I guess. So that's cool. That felt usable. So I bought the Sephora Favorites pop beauty chatter box so these are kind of like what the sephora play used to be but look how cute it's all 8-bit and like internet-y and i love it so anyway i may have definitely taken a peek at what all was in there yesterday so and this one we have got a little sample of dermalogica's hydro mask exfoliant A sample of Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer, which says a weightless universal gel primer enriched with ultra-fine pearls for a lit from within glow. So not a terrible size for a little sample of that. This one, apparently people who didn't read um, the description on the website were pissy at how small this is, but I'm like, dude, it's a sample. Slow your roll. But this is from milk makeup and it's their vegan milk moisturizer look how effing cute the sample is it's so little i know other people are mad that's so little i'm like oh my god it's so cute though look how cute that is like really we have a sample from melt and this is in the color rebound now i don't know if this is a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss or what it is. I would have to look at the website. I want to say it's a liquid lipstick, but it's a pretty good shade for me, so I'm not complaining. And that's not the same size as, like, the samples you get from the base level of Ipsy, so I'm not complaining. And this is the biggest sample I got in this box, and it is the original Olaplex Hair Perfector Number 3 Repairs and Strengthens All Hair Types. So I think it's like a hair mask. So it's used before, oh wait, used before shampooing, not a conditioner, it's a bond builder. Oh, okay, so it's not even a mask. Alright, alright. And it came with stickers! Guys! Stickers though. I know, I'm like a fucking child. <laughs> and then it's just got this little sheet in there. It's for a fave thing. These are the ones we've been talking about. Beauty loves saying the ones people are obsessing over. Sephora Fave says, are you ready? Beauty loves it, obviously. Sephora Fave has the hard eyes. The beauty love has the on fire. Sephora Fave, get your new beauty on. And then beauty love has like a shopping bag emoji, an EOS emoji, a lipstick emoji, and a moisture emoji. So that's fun. <laughs> and then the last things in here, there's two of this. Looks like Ringo Starr could have done this. Peace out, dullness. One step brightening face pads. So I forget what this box costs. I want to say it's something like 15-ish dollars. It's something right in there. So honestly, not a bad deal, if you ask me. Especially for getting to try out products that normally they're full-size prices. There's no way on this planet I would ever pay for those. It's just it's not happening. I'll gladly take samples of them and review those for you. And it turns out to be something that I need further analysis on and I've been enjoying. Maybe I would consider it then, but generally, not so much. So this is the main reason I put in the order. I wanted to throw this in with my last order, but I couldn't justify doing it because I didn't have the money to do it with. Because this cost 45 bucks. The value is 124 bucks though. This is the Sephora Favorites Give Me More Lip Set. Oh yes. Oh yes. Three of them are full sized in here too. And even the ones that are sample sizes are pretty good. Just saying. 
Like, I cannot complain. That's not bad. Let me show you the colors. So, from Makeup Forever, we've got... Makeup Forever in Untamed Fire, and it's their Rouge Artist Lipstick. This is like a purse-sized lipstick, like, honestly, like, sample size or not, that's still a shit ton of lipstick. Like, that lasts me a long time, even for that amount. And look at that red, that's so pretty. I like it. We have an Ives St. Laurent, or my mom claims it's Eve's St. Laurent. Tell me in the comments which it is. From their Rouge Pure Couture, and this is in Le Rouge. And the shade is also super pretty. So we have a cool red and a warm red. So between the two, at least one will definitely look good on me. But I think I could pull off both of those. Then we've got a Kat Von D. I think this is sample size, but it's like a good sample size. Like, honestly, though, like, bruh, go off. Um, Kat Von D Vegan Beauty Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Outlaw. But, like, for real, that is a fuck ton of lipstick. <laughs> I cannot complain. It does look like there's a, a bubble in the top, but still. Like, as long as most of it's good, I am not gonna bitch with that. Like, nice and cool feeling on this one. This is by Ilia. This is a full size. It's their Tinted Lip Conditioner in Arabian Nights. So this one, a bit dark, a bit dark, but that's full size. Uh, unfortunately, it almost looks like somebody's been touching it. Or like, it may be iffy. But it's hard to tell for sure. I think what I'm gonna do... I'm going to hit it with some rubbing alcohol, try to wipe off the top layer, and just go from there. Because <laughs> I'm like, that? It's one of the three full-size ones. I'm not throwing it out, guys. It's not happening. So that's our reds half. The other half is nudes. This one is also a full-size. It's from Fenty Beauty, which is Rihanna's um, brand, and it's in the color Unbutton, and it's the Stunna Lip Paint. So, this may not work on me, possibly, but we'll see. I may be wrong on that. We'll find out. It looks freaking cool as hell in the bottle, and I swear, my mom had a nail polish bottle when I was a little kid, almost shaped exactly like this, obviously shorter, and the color was almost this. I'm like, what? Oh, wow, that's like such a nostalgia glass for me. I had to, I just, yeah, <laughs> I had to take a minute and look at that, because I was like, wow. So this is the Too Faced Melted Matte. It's weird because the shape of this tube, which is acrylic, it's not like a squeezy tube. It's shaped like it should be a squeezy tube. But it's acrylic. It's so effing weird. So this one, the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick in the color Sellout. I guess it says it on the back. I didn't see the back till now. Um... Not what I might be able to pull off, maybe. Might be just enough color to work. And again, for a sample size, that's not a bad size. And this is the other full size one. This is the Patrick Ta. And this is like, from what I've seen, most of the people who have bought this set, this right here has been their reason for buying it because apparently this is a spendy ass brand. And it's in the color She's Independent, and it's their Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream. So that's really pretty. That one, maybe. I want to like it, especially because, you know, it's full-sized and rose gold on the cap, so. Hold on just one second. Sorry about that. Okay. And then the last one in this set is a NARS one, and this, where is it, it's just their lipstick in Toledi, Toledi, it's not Tol it's not Toledo, if you're wondering, it's a very odd name though, <laughs> but uh, the color, I have high hopes for this, this one I feel like will work on me for sure, 
because I've definitely owned lipsticks in colors very similar to that before. So it's like fairly close to a mauve, so I know I can pull that one off. So yeah, that was like the main attraction for me of this purchase was this set here. I'm so stoked to own these and to know that I'm going to get to review them for you guys and just get to have them. Just, oh, I'm excited. So let's put it over here for now. And then the last thing was another one of these like value sets. And this is the Sephora Favorites Power of the Petal uh, Skincare Plowered Plower? I need to drink less, like for real. Skincare powered by plants, fruits, and flowers. Now this cost $36 and the retail value for all this stuff would be $81. So just saying, some of their value sets don't really pay off, but other ones like this, I'm like, oh fuck yes. Hell yes. So yeah, open it up. Here's what all you get. Not bad, not bad. Again, this is another one where people reviewed it without apparently looking at the sizes in the description and were like, oh my god, they're so tiny, rip off. It's like, if you had read the description, you'd know that's what you were buying going in. You don't get to claim rip off. <laughs> now, if they had advertised them as bigger, that'd be one thing. They didn't. They had the sizes. Hold on again, my sister's being needy. Let's see if we can make it through the rest of this video without any further interruptions. <laughs> I feel cursed at this point. It's like, dude, that couldn't have waited like 10 minutes. Anyway, so the stuff in here. Let's just pull the thingy out and we'll go through one by one. So I can have the back of the box facing me. If it would stay up, it'd be great. So the first thing. I'm actually really excited for this guy. It is the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream with Time Release Hydro Patch. Yeah, it says Hydro Patches, Moisturizes, and Nourishes. Does it say anything about it on here? Not really, no. Okay. <laughs> but, um, I did take a little sneak peek of opening the cap. And it smells, like, exactly like rose water. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> that one's nice. I don't know what this normally retails for, but shit, dude, I would maybe buy that. That's, that's nice. And I would, like, not have even known it existed if not for this set. This one, by It Cosmetics, is their Secret Sauce Clinically Advanced Miraculous Anti-Aging Moisturizer. And the jar is like a little bit, I don't know, is that iridescent or hollow? I think it's iridescent. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Not a whole ton in there, but I mean, you can see there's, there's a fair amount. So, not terrible. You can at least get a feel for it. So we've got that. This guy is one of the ones I'm most excited for, even though it's only a tiny little bit. The Laneige, am I saying that right? Lip Sleeping Mask for all skin. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, doesn't like the full size of this retail for like 20 something bucks. And there's like no way on this planet I would ever pay that for a lip mask. Even though people have told me left and right, Jen, you need to try it, you need to try it. And I keep going, I'm not paying that. Well, now I at least have a sample of it to try and review for you guys. So I'll let you know how it goes, but. I don't see myself becoming such a believer that I want to throw 20 bucks at a lip mask. <laughs> um, we have the Caudalie Premier Cru La Creme You. Oh wait, that's the French side, sorry. The eye cream. I'm stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, Premier Cru eye cream. So, although tiny, for eye cream you only need like a dot under each eye to pat in, so that's that's a good amount. That'll last a long time, even in that amount. Just saying. So, I don't get why people are all butthurt. That is a good amount. Like, unless you're, like, way overdoing it, there's no reason. That shouldn't last you, like, at least a couple of months. At least. This is so effing cute! It is by Biozance, and it's the Squalane in Vitamin C Rose Oil. Brightens and visibly firms. Does it say anything else on here about it? Nope, so the same thing, so okay. And it's four milliliters. That's okay. 
right, Pharmacy Beauty, we have their Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. And again, it's a little tiny pump bottle, but you only need like a few drops of a serum at a time. So, while looks may be deceiving, that is a good amount to start with, just to find out if you like it or not. Then we have a Kiehl's, which I know Kiehl's is always expensive, <laughs> uh, so I'm not surprised it's a little itty bitty. And it is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I, if I had filmed this last night, I had wanted to use this last night, but since I hadn't filmed this, I wasn't going to mess it up. But now that I'm filming this, now I can use it. And then finally, I'm so stoked to have this, even though it's smaller than the one Ipsy gave out. This is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Makeup erasing and deep cleansing. My mom got this in one of her Ipsy bags months ago, and I spotted it, and I tried my damnedest to throw shit at her left and right to swap for it. She's like, nope, because she had smelled it. She's like, mm, this one's mine. I was like, dang it, there's literally nothing I can trade you for that? Nope, this one's mine. I was like, you suck. But uh, normally I get her to say yes, so I wasn't used to getting a no. But, um, uh, I have hoped ever since that Ipsy would send me one, and they never have. I'm a little bit hurt, but at least now I have this one, even if it's smaller from this. So at least I do get to try it out in some capacity. It's a gentle 301 makeup eraser, cleanser, and mask that hydrates without stripping. And it says you only use a dime-sized amount to do your whole face. So again, this may be deceiving, that is a good amount. I know I keep having to say it because people are like, oh my god, rip off, and I'm like, no, it's not. You just think it is because you're only looking at the face value. But anyway, that's what I got in this Sephora haul. Nothing crazy, nothing that added up to all that much, honestly. Plus, I mean, I did the, I think the Klarna for payments plan thing, so I think I'm only paying like 20 bucks at a time on this for like two months like every two weeks. That's not bad. That's not bad. This is how I can afford buying stuff like this. I, I always use the like four and four thing from PayPal or Klarna or Afterpay. I always make use of those if it's an option. So anyway guys, that's it for this one. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway guys, till next time. Bye bye.